You keep slapping pings on the wall, but you don't get the one you want while the snapshot has an answer for you. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. A few weeks ago, I covered the things that are going to be in the 1.12 update. Well, there was something that snuck in past the features that I showed in that video, and that is how to get the correct painting every single time. And it's pretty awesome, so let me show it to you. So here we are inside of Minecraft, uh, the nice snapshot version, and I have a few things set up here. And these are painting sizes. These are the sizes of paintings that you can achieve. And it's quite a simple technique, and that is to place a painting only where a painting can go, uh, or however big it can be, and it will take up the maximum size possible, which was not how it worked before. I'll show you how it worked before, right after we do this. Uh, so if you only have this one spot, it will take up one. If you have these two, uh, placing it below, it will take up two. Now you still do need to cycle through to get the various types of paintings, but you'll always get the correct size painting that you want every single time. Now if I was to put a painting on this block, well, you can see that the too high block takes up both of these when you place it on the bottom block. So if I put it on, put it on the top block, it actually creates a one by one, so you don't want that. Uh, and here, once again, if we have a two wide, we can place it on the left-hand side and it will constantly make that. So in this configuration, if you place one here, you're going to get a four and you can get a two by walking over one. You could get a, a diagonal by putting it in that one and you could get a one by placing it here. So you can see just how powerful this is. You can get a two by four this way. I don't remember if there's any other two by four. I don't think there is. Uh, you can get a three by four. There's a few of those, one and two. And you can get the elusive four by four. There's one other, which would be, yep, that. Uh, oh, I guess there's a few other. Which one also was the wither? I forget what the wither look, one looked like. Maybe that was this one. Anyway, so let me show you what it worked like before uh, by jumping over to 1.11. Fun fact, when you leave a snapshot and you leave blocks that are only available in the snapshot, they leave these really cool shadows, which can only be updated when you put a block inside of them. Anyway, this is our area right here minus the concrete. And so if we wanted to put down a big, big painting like we just did, you can see that it doesn't work that way. Finally, geez, took me forever. And uh, you can see that it is much more annoying. And in survival, you have to run over and pick up the painting every single time. Oh, dang it, we got it and I went past it. Dang it. Oh, pff, okay, yeah, see, so you can see, you can see while why the new snapshot is so nice to have compared to what we have now. This is just a small update, but it is fantastic that you don't have to continuously place down a painting, break a painting, place a painting, break a painting, to get the size that you really, really need. Uh, are you gonna use this in uh, Minecraft? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you comment and leave a like. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Thanks for watching.